Hi, Amy here with You Can Homeschool, and today we're gonna do a flip through through Mathematical Reasoning Level D. This is a book we've already done this last school year, and I let my boys pick a sticker for every page they completed. Um, I got them at the dollar store in a roll, and they like to cover their covers. So let's begin. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about is this book covers, it teaches third grade math skills and concepts and some fourth grade math standards. Um, the concepts are presented in a spiral format, which means you deal with a topic and then for a few pages, and then after that, there's a gap before you're gonna come back and cover it again. Um, this book is open and go. That means you sit down and you just work in it. It has directions at the top of the pages, and the answers are in the back of the book. Um, I also do remove them sometimes. I have twins, so I took them out of my other son's book and put them in a separate book so that as we're working, if I wanna check the answers, it's easy to refer to. And for those who may struggle with honesty, it removes that temptation. So let's begin. All right, so I love how colorful it is. I love the variety of activities that there are. Um, sometimes you're filling in blanks, sometimes you're matching, coloring, um, some writing. So there's a very good variety. It's not boring. Um, so, for example, if we were going to do this lesson, you know, you read with your student the directions, um, you walk them through this, and then they go ahead and complete something independently um, and have you check it. And so, like a page like this, I would maybe do the first two problems with them, watch them do the third problem to make sure they understand the concept, and then let them continue the page. Um, The, the nice thing too is there's self-correcting pages where they plug in answers as they're working. And so if you read the message and it doesn't make a word, you know you got one wrong. And so that's a really good tool for them to kind of self-correct and go back and know that they need to rework a problem. Got some graphs and measurements, rounding, patterns, time. Uh, multiplication is introduced. Lots of practice in here. We did do flashcards and drills separately as well. I really like my kids to master their multiplication and have it memorized, um, but these were great for introducing it. They felt comfortable doing it with these charts and getting that practice in. I like that that was in the book. Uh, more measurements and temperature has metric and um, you can see. So one way to work this curriculum as well, as well is you take how many pages are in this book and then divide it by the amount of weeks you're gonna do school, how many days you're gonna do school a week to know how many pages your goal is to accomplish. And I kind of would plan it out a week at a time and be like, okay, for example, like this is gonna be easy peasy, we're gonna fly through that. So this we might do, we're gonna do three pages this day, uh, maybe four, and my boys sometimes, I would never stop them. I, at the bottom, we'll see. Must have done it in my other son's book. But anyways, um, I would write the letter of the day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, at the bottom corner so we knew what the goal was. But if they wanted to keep working, we kept working. Um, we allotted for about 30 minutes a day. They got to the two or three pages and they were just done. We would stop if they were like, well, let's keep going. So I made it weekly goals so they knew if they worked harder, hey, we didn't have to do math on Thursday. Um, and we actually did finish a couple weeks even early or then we were gonna be done because they just kept working. They enjoyed it a lot. Alrighty, as you can see, some pages that I knew would be more difficult because there was a lot of problems. I maybe would skip a couple and add a fun page in there to give them a good variety. Like this is matching. So they would do, that would be much easier than a page where there was, um, a lot of adding and subtracting or something like that that took longer, like these pages. I would space this out. So if we did this, we would not do many more that day. Measurements, money, getting more difficult with the multiplication. And something I really require of my kids is to memorize their multiplication facts. So we did 
um, you know, much more drilling than this book had, which is our flashcards. We would spend a few minutes reviewing those throughout the, the weeks. Probability and graphs. They had a lot of fun. This was their favorite subject. And at this level, I, I don't feel like you really need much on a separate teacher's guide because it's, it's very basic. Um, and so it just was an easy part of our school schedule last year to, to do math. And it was positive and definitely adding the stickers on there made it a lot of fun. So I hope that flip through was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. All right, have a blessed day.